Quavo. Lifestyle on camera. Hundred thousand dollar chandelier. They tried to turn me to an animal. How's it going? My name is Daniel Garcia, and today we're here to discover the mystery that's been surrounding the school for ages. How does 9/11 relate to Medessa High School? Let's go. All right, here is with Nikita. I am a documentary. We're going to be exploring this campus, Mendoza High School, and we're going to be showing you around. All right, let's go, Nikita. This is Aman Ghazali. He's one of our students here. He is a senior. And this is the, what hall is this? Main ups hall. The upstairs hall. Let's not be too loud. There's classes in session. Oh, there's no one in there. <laughs> Here's the water fountain. This is where people typically drink water. It's a stair. Oh, there's actually a really nice view from the bathroom. This is the bathroom facilities. We have three sinks here. And this is usually what I look at when I'm taking a piss. Are you taking a piss? Wait, I want to take a piss too. Oh, face the face the camera. Head the camera. Face the Awesome. Alright, so we just took a picture of me pretending to pee. Let's keep on going. Now the girl's back. No, I'm just kidding. My blanket's falling. Yeah, let's have to pick up in the bathroom. That's what? It was touching the ground in the bathroom. That's disgusting. <laughs> Alright, number one is only. Alright, we're gonna have to be really careful because we're not even supposed to be out here. Student, student. Alright, let's go this way. Um, first, we're gonna see if the auditorium is open, and if it's not, we're gonna break in. Here are some of our trophies from the Oh, that's me. I look pretty good. Pretty cute. All right, let's keep going. We're not going there now. Um, these are lockers. That's an exit. We're actually going to see if the auditorium is open. What? No, we're going to break in. You think we're not? You think we're not going to break in? All right. Some more trophies. Okay, like, wouldn't it be cool if we made this a fish tank, like, as our senior frame? Like, just take out all the freaking, or leave the trophies in there. Put some freaking drywall and just fill it up with water. That's exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> Alright. Looks kinda nice in there. I'm actually wearing a blanket because I forgot my pants today, so... Let's keep on going. Lit, lit. Hey, Marco Zala, can you put the blanket back on me? It's kind of falling. Out here, Nikita, explain what this is to us. This is a quad. This is a quad. Yes. The center of our school. The center of our school. It separates the main hall from the classroom. Uh-huh. Ooh. Are we going to be entering some of these classrooms? Okay. Well, I'm not class. I'm not allowed to hold this though. Okay. So this here. Okay. This is the executive room. Are these executives? Yeah. All right. So like where the post sit, and then here, and 
Oh my gosh, that looks comfortable. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Go for it. Oh my god. There we go. Why is there a car? Why do you want to go? No, this is our school, not the outside of the school. And here is the famous tennis player we have right here. Famous tennis player. Introduce him to the camera. What's going on? Hey. Or not. He's not very enthusiastic about this documentary. Alright, so tell us about the conspiracy that's been going on here. Some people are connecting Modesto High School to 9-11. How is that? Well, you see, everyone George Bush went to high school here. George Bush went to high school in Modesto High School. Right. Back in 64. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. And that's how Modesto High became to be famous. That's highly possible. Also famous because of this documentary. What is this building over here that we're approaching? Where the title brought up of We're making a documentary. You know what? Hard. I'm getting an allergic reaction from you now. I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So explain to me what these sandwiches are for. What are these sandwiches for, Emerson? Sandwiches Emerson are for will explain people to you. in need. People, people in need? So we're making sandwiches for the uh, Project Hope. Project Hope? What's that? What is that? Project Hope? It's a club where we make sandwiches. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's a really good club. Project Sandwich? Project Sandwich. Rock Club. Coming out. Ah. Wow. So, uh, this is what they use to wipe the, to wipe the whiteboard. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel bad for this guy. But he has no life, so. Poor guy. So, what time is it? We should probably. Room. And uh, this is where we do basically everything. Where are we going next, Akita? That way the bread the bread is gonna smush. There's a nice view out here, guys. Hey, what are those kids doing? Uh they're entering a classroom. There's no one in the classroom? They just got here. Hmm. Interesting. I wish I knew how to focus, but ooh, there we go. Ooh, dude, that girl looking fine. She could be my girlfriend. Let's keep going. Ooh. Ooh. You get a nice shot. Alright, let's keep going. What time is it? 10.09. 10 10 we have till 10.33. Can we go across campus? Yeah, let's do it. You don't care enough? Well, I'm doing this because I don't care about whatever's going on in there. I'd rather be out here with Nikita. You can't leave me alone with the mod. 
All right, right now there's some beef sardine. It's called. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I left my shades. Freaking... Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Obama. Oh, I love Miss Johnson. Ivy God. She's my mom. She, she doesn't wave back. Wave at her. Wave. I can't focus. Stop it. All right, we're trying to get our mom's attention. It's a really nice picture. Wow. Looks really nice. Ooh, another nice view. We're going to follow him. Testing, please do not disturb. Ooh, see that room over there? That's the room I go in. Seventh period. Yes. All right, so we're heading back to our headquarters. Right now, you can hear the school fire alarm. We accidentally set one off. A secret message. Fire I turned it on. We go to this way, this way, follow me. I know the way. Daniel knows the way. Daniel knows the way. Follow me. Follow, follow, follow. Here, not too close, boy, not too close. Uh, here I am with my friend Nikita, my friend Michael, and we're trying to discover the secret of 9 11 at Modesto High School. I accidentally set off the fire alarm. These are not. The lights go on. They're not secret messages. I inform you. Let's keep on going. I'm doing Morse code. You might be sending the message. Oh my gosh, I'm listening to it. My ears are popping. My ears are popping. It's a sign. Oh my god. It's a sign of the blood on the government's hands. All right, the Morse code is saying at the Panther. Is there a Panther at this school? No. There's no Panther. You yeah, didn't have a teacher right here. Keep going. Everyone here is interested in solving the mystery of 9-11 and the death of life. Please get a shot of everyone here. What's the procedure? What's the procedure? I'm not procedure. I just reset my <laughs> it is perfect timing. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> That's our son, Mr. Walton. Wait, can I borrow your glasses? <laughs> so tell us, when did you first hear your little round? Uh, about 15 seconds ago. 15 seconds ago? How did they sound to you? Uh, uh, what, what was that? That was uh, the 9-11. The 9-11 bill? Yeah. Is that an important event here? Oh, 9-11 bill. Everybody hit that. I actually had no idea where we were supposed to go. I just let you guys back here. I see. Okay. And now we go back. Where's Jeremy? Jeremy. We lost Jeremy. Who's Jeremy? Who's Jim? He was the... There was, a, there was not an average person. <laughs> yes, there was Jeremy. Are you high again? Did you know him? It appears that we lost Jeremy. We lost Jeremy. The little
as they we see here. He gives them the film that they need. Uncovering the truth. Wait, if we change it to the Andres. The truth of my so high. Are you fucking my talk about Don Dang shoes? Everybody, right, coming back. Thank you, Dion. Alright, so in conclusion, 9 11 never happened. The one with the orange juice that I picked yesterday. No. I said to you. You did it? Well, I was asleep from like 3 to 8, so I probably wasn't like tired enough. Opened it. Oh, well, basically, I went to my aunt's house to get lemons because my mom told me to go get lemons. And I'm driving no, back home. What? Well, back then, I think. Uh, <laughs> I anyway, so <laughs> back then, yesterday. Uh, what a sad moment in my history. Okay, well, I'm driving back, right? From getting the lemons. And I look into the. It's not even a bag, it's just my shirt that I tied. And I look into the thing and I'm like, these things are huge. Why are they so big? And I figure, what? They were oranges. They were just green oranges that weren't ripe. It's like, oh my god, I'm not going home. <laughs> uh, I'm like, they're sour enough, mom. They're living. <laughs> he didn't even get yeah, yeah, show about the He shows the lead. But this is not anymore. It was weird, you know? My dad came home furious about my grades, and then the school for some reason called my mom to say, hey, there's some suspiciousness with his attendance. So my mom is over here yelling about my attendance, my dad's over here yelling about my grades, and they get together into like the greatest cluster of like, history. And obviously, my mom. <laughs> 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 Maybe because my dad called him for a reason, they didn't call your dad. Pablo, you know, I'm going to call you for my dad to tell you that my dad Buenas tardes, me llamo Daniel, estoy llamando para avisarle que mi hijo Daniel no va a tener la sola vez porque tiene problemas de salud. Sí. Like, uh, the guy who plays Pablo Escobar in Narcos. That's, that's what I get. I think for that. Me llamo Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. Thank you. You practiced. I was really good. You sound just like the dude that plays it. They're good. HYLC meeting right now with the boy Daniel. In this moment, we are dedicated to cross the street. This school is divided by the street H. Sigue. the game against today? You gonna win? Let's hope. <laughs> How can they not win against Johansson? It's just Johansson, right? Right. You said Daniel, you're so cute. That's me. Go straight to Daniel. Oh. All right, Pablo Escobar. Alright, we're gonna we're heading into a group of people. We have to be really careful. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. He's gonna score in that swing pass. Hey, hey, you want it? You going right now? How's my hair? It's, it looks good like always. Thank you. Let me do Eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're funny. 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 Oh, you're fun
Hey Daniel, words of advice. Advice. El hielo? Si. Where is the hielo? Let's hope his daddy doesn't die. Oh no, you just see Felix stand out. Disgusting. I, I wasn't trying to be. <laughs> look, at, look at these two. Felix, what is this club? Mi hombre, mi hermano es. So guys, what do you guys think about Rafa actually? What do you think about the 9-11 conspiracy at Manessa High? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why? Because I don't think that's true at all. Well, according to their calculations over there, over there, uh, what do you think it the actually happened. Over there? What do you think the average 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 you guys on a grill? We all know Jet Fuel does not melt steel beans. Is that true though? But did that happen at Modesto High? See, I heard it was explosive because because I heard it would not burn hot enough to melt steel beans. It was the it was the oh have you seen that like picture where it's like Jet Fuel uses Mason uses melt Mason what do you think? And then like some guy had Pokemon named Steel Beans and like Steel Beans. You have no comment. Why? Oh, yeah, Rafa speaks seen, for everyone. Have you seen that Pokemon where it's like, they change the name to a fucking Jet Fuel? And it's like, Jet Fuel is no. And then like, the Wattpad's like, What do you think? Steel Beam is not affected by Jet Fuel. No, <laughs> Julian, what do you think? I don't know, I have no comments. Hey, Rafa. Go. Alright. Alright, move on to the There's, there's Nikita again. I think George Bush did it because how did that? Very clean up the towers being attacked. My name's Jim Bond. And how is the jet not going to feel better at the time? I thought it's conspiracy. George Bush did not. Are you are you positive, Armando? Are you positive? Yep. How positive? I'm pretty sure. Do you see those guys over there doing math? Yeah. They're solving it right now. They think they think Jeff Field does burn steel beams. So over here I got the Odell brothers, right? What do you guys think of the 9/11 conspiracy at Modesto High? You can't melt steel beams. How so? <laughs> Could you guys elaborate a little? Jet steel can't melt steel beams. Are you actually saying you can't melt steel beams? Alondra, what do you think about the 9-11 conspiracy that happened at Modesto High according to Daniel? Uh, I think Modesto High had everything to do with it. I think one of our students actually was uh, flying the plane when it crashed, man. I, I'm telling you, man, I saw it. Are you, guys, are you doing the calculations right now? I am doing the calculations and I realized that jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Oh. But you know what can? What? Um, I don't know, probably diesel fuel. And what happened is they put up the plane with diesel fuel and that's why it blew up. Good. Instead of just Good straight up crashing through the thing, it blew up on impact. What do you think, Jenny? What do you think? Oh, yeah. Jenny. Okay, that's okay. Jennifer. He's gonna tell you. Go away. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Alright, you're gonna tell me? Go. What? Just me. Coming up next. Does Jet <laughs> does does Jet Fuel burn? Beams. Well, we see we have some mathematics here to explain the <laughs> melting of where it's going. This is actually history, which actually ties close to the. <laughs> but here, here we have some mathematics to explain why jet fuel cannot melt. I told you. I told you. He told. He's been here since the beginning. His name is Felix Hernandez. He's been trying to prove this since he was 13. But it's been too long. Too long. We have some mathematics and algorithms that he has been compromising. I don't want to all right, so the first thing we see here is that one percent. She's actually she's she's against the theory. She thinks that just because her brother drove the plane. <laughs> Look at her muscles. I'm not culturally. <laughs> 
What about these guys over here? Set it all, set it all, Jada Pink.